Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft down under. So yeah, I thought I'd give you a heads up that the uh, I like my fire Swedish fire knife is on the way out. So it was a collaboration between uh, Mora and uh, like my fire. I looked at them some years ago and I thought uh, 50, 58 dollars including shipping at that price point, no. But anyway, I was looking for a new fire steel because my I was getting a bit tired, and I bumped into it on uh, eBay in Australia. So originally it had been forty nine ninety nine, down to twenty eight dollars ninety five, and eight ninety five by the way is a is a common price for shipping here in Australia. So for twenty Australian dollars, oh god, I better get one. It was actually cheaper than a scalp fire steel. Figure that out. So. A lot of guys hate on these. It's got a lot of ups, it's got a few downs. But at 113 grams, I've got pocket knives that weigh 113 grams, I think, and that includes the sheath. It's got Sandvik 12C27 stainless, so it's a reasonable stainless. Yeah. I mean, and it's only half tank, so the tank stops about here. So you will not be pounding on this batoning. There's a nice, nice spine on the back. I mean, obviously designed to. Get a fire steel, which it does really well, strangely enough. It's got a, uh, a modified Scandi grind, I'd call it a saber grind tip, very similar to the Eldra's. So this would be a great knife for chopping veg, cutting meat, and uh, at that price point, it's got a rubber overlay on the handle, which I wish my Garberg had. And uh, it's going to be replaced by the Mora Companion Spark. Now, I don't know who's going to be supplying the ferro rods for it. It's not clear. So the ferro rod's removable. Now, it's 3,000 strokes, which is to do with the thickness rather than the anything else. Now, it is shorter than the standard fire steel. So you lose a bit in length, which is uh, the... That would affect its performance, but uh, at this price point, I think it's a good buy. Sure enough, if it came down to it, I would prefer something like the Full Tang Garberg and the Fire Steel. I mean, the series even more dollars, of course. But for this type of money. I think it's worth throwing it in, in your gear. Whether it's not your your first line gear or your second line gear, or it just becomes your camp kitchen box knife, which is what it will become for me. It's a lot of knife for uh, less than 30 Australian dollars. So I thought I'd give you guys the heads up. That if you want to grab one, everyone will be running them out because no one wants old stock, of course. I think it would be a good pickup. Anyway guys, I hope you like the short one today and uh, we'll catch you next time.